from Amsterdam, some kick-ass like punk rock, elements of like rockabilly, blues, uh, straightforward punk power, just killer. Check it out, leaving it all on the stage right there. All right, hey, this is gonna be a quick video uh, for our friend um, Clifford, the vinyl cheapskate. I've been trying to get this thing done for about two or three weeks now. I'm finally getting it in. So Clifford's having a push to, um, I can't remember if it's 100 or 200. He's probably well over 100 now though, uh, subscribers. And that's cool, man. He should have friggin' way more than that. This cat shows some great punk rock, um, hard rock. He shows a mix of everything. And the guy has a good eye and ear for uh, finding good records for a cheap price. They don't call him the vinyl cheapskate for nothing, <laughs> right? <laughs> the cheapskate. <laughs> Sorry, I, I freaked out there for a second. So maybe a little bit of a big chug or a, or a big toast to Cliff out there will settle me down a little bit, bring me back to a, a normal level. Anyway, you guys, welcome to Cosmic Vinyl. Uh, you guys are going to get a quick treat here as I show some cheap stuff I found uh, through the years. So, all right, let's hoist one up for old Cliff, man. And check him out. I'll put the link to his channel below. Uh, and, man, if you haven't subscribed, get over there, man. Subscribe. You won't be sorry because he shows a lot of great content. So, here we go. One for you, Cliff. Congratulations, brother. Oh, yes, yes, my good friend, of course. All right. All right, so five questions. I may show a few more albums than five, but I'll try, try and keep it short. So a dollar record. Oh, where's my records? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, kind of shortly before I left to move down to St. Louis, I was in a record store in Des Moines, Iowa. And they, their bargain bins are underneath like the regular bins, just in like crates and shit. And it's a hard dig. But I found this for a buck, this McDonald and Giles. Or is it Giles and McDonald? No, it's McDonald and Giles. Uh. I'll fold it open. Check out these cool cats, these hip cats with their chicks. I love that cover, man. That's so great very bright orange and pink uh, gatefold there um, if I'm not mistaken these guys were part of King Crimson and um, this is just a great proggy uh, some some psych in there too um, I mean it's not expensive to begin with but for a buck man I was all over that shit so yeah uh, McDonald and Giles and then I had to show these too, because I got these both for a buck at the same time. And um, 
when I was a kid, I actually found the two cassette tapes of this uh, in a bargain bin at some retail store. And no one else in my town had heard anything by this artist except for his one big hit that he'll always be attached to. But that's Gary Newman. Uh, yeah, I got these in a, a dollar bin, uh, both uh, The Pleasure Principle and Telecon. Um, just great stuff, man. I remember me, my childhood friend, we used to call him the man without emotion. Because look at him, he always looks so... Uh, almost like cold and metallic like like a robot and he does sing a lot about robots and uh apocalyptic kind of stuff very influenced by the works of philip k dick and isaac asimov um but yeah this is cool this is the one that has the big hit cars on it but my favorite song on this is metal this is oh what a great song um, and then, of course, Telecon, the follow-up, uh, is the, This Wreckage, uh, the title track, um, Remember I Was Vapor, God, just some weird shit. This was, like, pretty, uh, pretty out there for its time, I loved it. Dollar fines, dollar bin fines. How about some cheap heat? So I wasn't sure if you meant like uh, something I got for cheap that, that's hot or if it's something that's just generally known as uh, something you can get for cheap that still kicks ass. So I'm going to go kind of both ways. Um, here's one that uh, you can get most of the stuff by Slade for pretty reasonable price. In fact, this one has like, a, I think it was $7.99 and it was even, even less than that. I think I got this. Uh, Slade. Slade? Slade? Question mark. I think I got this for maybe like five or six bucks. Uh, but you can get, uh, Slade's a great band. Glam pop, glam hard rock, uh, even a little punkish tinge to it. Um, always like to spell their like S's as Z's. <laughs> um, the reason that Quiet Riot became huge. But yeah, Slade is just a great band. There's, I don't think they have a shitty record. Uh, and you can usually get their stuff pretty cheap. Now this is one that I got a great deal on, and this is just a great band. Uh, this is the Dead Boys, um, Young, Loud, and Snotty. Um, I was couldn't wait for a reissue for this, because I knew I was never going to find an original. But this is just killer New York punk rock right here. Um, great songs, Sonic Reducer, all this and more. Um, God, this is just a great, this is, every song, one after another, is just killer uh, punk rock, New York style. Um, I got this, Jackpot Records had this and a Wipers album. I can't remember what the, maybe, no, it wasn't Youth of America. But um, they had this one and, and a Wipers album, and you could get them both for like 30 bucks. Um, and if you bought them separate, they were like 20 bucks. So I ended up getting this one for 20 bucks, which for this album is pretty damn good. Uh, so I'd say this is some cheap heat I found um, like uh, on sale. Um, let's see, what's the next one? Great all round score. Uh, I have a series here of four records. Now, I had at my old thrift store in Iowa, where I in, in my town of Fort Dodge, where I, this guy carried a lot of vinyl, um, and it was reason. I mean, he didn't know he did, he wasn't a vinyl seller, but he sold vinyl. Does that make sense? He wasn't like a record store guy. But I was able to get a great deal on this series of records right here. And this is um, the Kiss solo albums, all four of them. There's the Peter Chris uh, cover there. I ended up getting these for 40 bucks. I mean, 10 bucks for, um, for uh, the, the, each one of these records. And they did, oh, God dang it. Uh, they did come with the posters too. Each one of these has the poster in it, and when you take the take the posters out and put them together, they form uh, a big poster. 
um, with just some really cool psychedelic type uh, artwork. That's the Peter Chris one. Like I said, got all four of the Kiss solo records, original presses, um, for 40 bucks, man. That's, that's a good all around score. I just love these covers, man. Just so killer. This is basically what kept the original band together for a while, otherwise they would have split up a lot sooner. Uh, here comes my favorite, and the one that sold more than all of them is the Ace Freely. I do have a copy hanging on my wall that's autographed by Ace, uh, which is really cool. Of course, New York Groove and Snowblind, great shit right there. And then, of course, this was Gene when he was actually pretty damn cool. The Simmons. You've got uh, When You Wish Upon a Star, Radioactive. Um, cool. These, I mean, just the covers of these alone are amazing. So that was just an uh, overall great score. Uh, Budget Bin Steel. Um, I just recently scored this in a budget bin. I think it was maybe less than 10 bucks. And that's uh, Love's For Sale. And this is just a great record. It's got a little bit of, uh, you know, it's got some wear to the cover. But the vinyl plays amazing. Look at that. This is just a little more like hard rocking for love here. Uh, some psychedelic stuff here, but look how cool they friggin' look right there. Uh, and friggin' Arthur Lee right there looking badass as ever. Cool back cover here, too. Uh, but yeah, I uh, got that for under 10. Uh, another one uh, that I scored in a budget bin. All right, and now he wants to sh us to show a thrift store find. Uh, again, I found this one for super cheap in uh, the bargain bin back in my hometown. And this is uh, Bowie Pinups. Uh, kind of an underrated uh, record for Bowie. But to find this for under, uh, I think it was like five bucks uh, in great shape. Um, this is a, just a bunch. Uh, he does a bunch of covers. He covers like the Who. Um I think it covers Pink Floyd. Um, but yeah, this is this is really cool. I have a t-shirt with that picture on it right there. God, he's just a badass. He was just above human. He was um God, what a he's just so missed. And he actually does play um a little saxophone on the album. You can see he's got a sax there in his in his mitts. Uh, not very well, but, you know, I like it, so what the hell. Uh, so Bowie pinups. And then I got one uh, one last one, uh, cheap, uh, what was it, uh, thrift store find. This was one of my all-time great scores in a, in a, in a thrift store. Uh, a fantastic record that got me, really got me into the Buzzcocks. And this is Buzzcocks, I believe it's called... Um, Another music in a different kitchen, maybe. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. But yeah, this is very cool. Pete Shelley. Um, gosh, what a great band. I just love their brand of, uh, you know, punk rock, Brit punk, uh, power pop, uh, quirky tunes. Uh, this is just a great record. Scored this for, I believe it was $7. So can't beat that. All right, so yeah, um, Cliff, you've inspired me through your videos to seek out some cheap records because I started to go off the rails a little bit there. I was just buying. It didn't matter how, how expensive shit was. But man, I just got to tell you, you got a great channel, man. Um, it was It's great seeing you hang on the uh, Doctor and the Kids uh, live stream. I hope I get to hang out there a little bit more. Uh, Hope to get to know you a little bit better over this next year, man. Hey, like I said, get over there and subscribe to Cliff uh, Clifford the Vinyl Cheapskates channel. Uh, I'm going to see you out with a, a big chug, buddy. All right, Vinyl community, have a great day. Have a great night, and stay cosmic. Peace out.